Hi folks, welcome back for more. Let's play Dragon Age Origins. And it's time to go heal Eamon. After a quick stop in camp. I need to check, um, Bodine's How will you or get it? interrupted by Sten. I thought we just asked the Darkspawn to please leave. If you hope to slay the Archdemon with wit, you may want to arm yourself first. Careful. You say you are a Grey Warden. I have heard stories of this order. What does this have to do with anything? Great strategists and peerless warriors. That is what we hear of the Wardens. So far, I am not impressed. I'm not here to impress you. Evidently not. It remains only to see what you are here for. Yeah, 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 whatever. Dude. Don't question me. It didn't go well for other people. So I'm going to check his stores real quick and pause. Okay. Some shopping out of the way. Let's continue to actually now go heal Eamon. And because it's Eamon, we'll yes. take you along. I have a bone to pick with you. Indeed. Yes. castle? What are the odds we get interrupted? It always happens. No, no interruption. Nifty. And Alistair has levels, huh? Take care of those in a little bit. Yes. I don't think we'll need them for a little bit. Loading. Okay. Okay. Wake him up. We need our army. You return. Might you have news? I found the urn. You have? Wonderful. Let us go at once to Eamon's side and see if the urn's healing powers live up to their reputation. They better. Because if we need more, we're going to have a problem. Just say it. Where am I? Good, you're awake. Be calm, brother. You have been deathly ill for a very long time. Do you remember nothing? Tegan? What are you doing here? Where is Isolde? I am here, my husband. I'm Connor. Where is my boy? Where is our son? He... He is dead. Connor is dead. Dead? Then... It was not a dream. Much has happened since you fell ill, brother. Some of it will not be easy for you to hear. Then tell me. I wish to hear all of it. Well, I don't hate Eamon yet. This is most troubling. There is much to be done, that is true. But I should first be thankful to those who have done so much. Grey Warden, I know you did what you had to. I grieve for my son, but I believe that had you not acted as you did, it might have been far worse. I am in your debt. Will you permit me to offer you a reward for your service? If you'd like, I won't object. Then allow me to declare you and those traveling with you Champions of Redcliffe. Finally, some you recognition for all my hard work. Within these halls. Sheesh. And for you, Warden, a shield of the same make as those that have been given to our finest knights. I guess I need a dinner plate. I, I suppose this will do. We should speak of Loghain, brother. There is no telling what he will do once he learns of your recovery. 
Loghain instigates a civil war even though the Darkspawn are on our very doorstep. Long I have known him, he is a sensible man, one who never desired power. I was there when he announced he was taking control of the throne, Eamon. He is mad with ambition, I tell you. Mad indeed. Mad enough to kill Caelan to attempt to kill myself and destroy my lands. Whatever happened to him, Loghain must be stopped. What's more, we can scarce afford to fight this war to its bitter end. We? This is in your hands now. What will you do then? Take your few forces and throw yourself at the Darkspawn? To triumph, you will need all of Ferelden behind you. And Ferelden will remain divided as long as Loghain continues his campaign. I hate it when you make sense. Loghain must capitulate, then. I agree. Loghain will pay for his heinous crimes, but our armies must be reserved for the Darkspawn, not for each other. I will spread word of Loghain's treachery, both here and against the King. But it will be but a claim made without proof. Those claims will give Loghain's allies pause, but we must combine it with a challenge Loghain cannot ignore. We need someone with a stronger claim to the throne than Loghain's daughter, the Queen. Are you referring to Alistair, brother? Are you certain? Think, think this over carefully. I would not propose such a thing if we had an alternative. But the unthinkable has occurred. Look, Alistair would be a terrible king! Hey, I'm right here. Tegan and I have a claim through marriage, but we would seem opportunists no better than Loghain. Alistair's claim is by blood. And what about me? Does anyone care what I want? No. You have a responsibility, Alistair. Without you, Loghain wins. I would have to support him for the sake of Ferelden. Is that what you want? I... B but I... No, my lord. I see only one way to proceed. I will call for a landsmeet, a gathering of all of Ferelden's nobility in the city of Denaran. There, Ferelden can decide who shall rule, one way or another. Then the business of fighting our true foe can begin. What say you to that, my friend? I do not wish to proceed without your blessing. I can't believe you're going to let this... What are my options? You still have allies to seek out to help us against the Darkspawn. I can hold off traveling to Denerim until you are ready. But the Landsmeet is our only option. We could attempt to wage a military campaign against Loghain. But even if we win, would we have enough left to defeat the Darkspawn? No, but neither would Loghain. Perhaps Loghain gambles on this attitude. That everyone will decide facing the Darkspawn is more vital than facing him. So that he leads us against the Horde. It seems we have little choice. Very well. I will send out the word. But before we proceed, I believe there is the matter of the mage, my son's tutor. He still lives, I understand. He does. He is in the dungeon, brother. Have him brought here, Tegan. I wish to see him. Jowan, what you have done is not in question. You tried to assassinate me and set into motion a series of events that nearly destroyed everything I cherish. What have you to say in your own defense? Nothing, my lord. Other than to say I am sorry. I expect no mercy for what I've done. I see. Grey Warden, have you anything to say on Jowan's behalf? No, I have nothing, Dad. Then there is nothing more to say. Jowan, I hereby sentence you to death. May the Maker show you the mercy we cannot. Thank you, my lord. Now, back to the matter of the Landsmeet. It will take some time to recall my forces and organize our allies. I would prefer to wait until that is done before calling the landsmate. In the meantime, I suggest you pursue the remainder of the Grey Warden treaties. We will need all the allies we can get if we are to defeat the Darkspawn Horde. Uh, you know what that means? That means we have to go back and help everyone. Joy. But before we do, I have a bone to pick with you, buddy. What do you need now? I'd like to ask you something. If you really have to, go ahead. Why did you keep your birthright a secret? 
You never asked? Do you want to make me more angry? No, no, calm down. I'm not trying to make you more upset. I... Uh, let me explain. The thing is, I'm used to not telling anyone who didn't already know. It was always a secret. Even Duncan was the only Grey Warden who knew. And then, after the battle, when I should have told you... I don't know, it seemed like it was too late by then. How do you just tell someone that? How about, by the way, I'm the heir to the throne. Yes, well, I suppose part of me kind of liked you not knowing. You enjoyed not telling me? It's just that anyone who's ever found out has treated me differently afterwards. I was the bastard prince instead of just being Alistair. I know that must sound stupid to you, but I hate that it shaped my entire life. I never wanted it, and I certainly don't want to be king. The very idea of it terrifies me. That sounds incredibly whiny, Alistair. Thanks. It's nice to know you'll be there to support me. I'll point out that you did ask. And now Arleman plans to put me forward as the heir. It never ends, does it? And for what it's worth, I'm sorry for not telling you sooner. It was a dumb thing to do. Yes, it was. Incredibly dumb. Thanks. What else can you expect from me, right? I guess it's kind of a relief that you know now. Let's go. Sheesh, Alistair. Okay, back to camp. Camp. Directions are important. I'm sure not taking you where we gotta go. Guess we should probably head to Orzammar, huh? Seems like the likeliest place to start. Keep it up. I want to switch out and get different party members from our walk into Orzammar, so... I think we need to talk. Right now. Get out of my way, Alistair. No, I'm not getting out of your way. I'm going to talk and you're going to listen. You're a ooh, great ooh. warden. I know you weren't one for very long before Duncan and the rest were all killed, but that didn't mean you stopped being one. And I'm sick of the mockery you're turning it into. You, a Grey Warden? Duncan would have been disgusted. I can't believe I'm even party to this. Go fall on something sharp. I don't care what you think. Big surprise. Do you care what anyone thinks? Not unless they can do something for you, I'm sure. Has it occurred to you that you might be part of something larger? That the Grey Wardens might be a tradition worthy of upholding, even if you don't care about all the lives you're saving? <laughs> I'm sorry. Am I not a good enough person to suit you? I don't think you're a good enough person to suit anyone. Duncan must have truly been desperate when he chose you. Or blind. Take your pick. I guess I'll have to be satisfied with you actually helping to stop the blight, won't I? If that's still your intention, I can't do it on my own. On your own? I'd be happy if you helped at all. Let's just go. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we need to head to Orzammar, but I think I'll save that for next time because we're kind of cutting close here. So, next time, back to Orzammar. See you then, folks. Bye.